Okay, hello internet. We are now recording for episode 97 of Enter the Dungeon. Who wants to give the recap of what happened last time, Andreas? Why me? Because we agreed that you remember everything. Who remembers that... everything? It was Andreas all along. I, I feel like the Dungeon Master probably has a better idea of what happened last time. I mean, I do, but I don't give the recap, so that's part of the deal. I, I record like... the episode. I, I edit the episode, so I know exactly what happened, so it wouldn't be fair for me to give the recap. I feel like it would make the most sense for you to give the recap, but I'll give it. Well, no, um, I actually do have a legitimate reason that I do that. I feel like we. I feel like it has been explained in the past, and I just don't remember because it was like two years ago. Well, because I don't want to bias you guys based on what I thought was important from the last session. That'll do it. Yeah. Um, okay, I, we started off still... No, we started off on the road. Yeah, um... No. We made it... No, we didn't start off on the road, because we talked to Data Leak. We'd already made it to town, because we started off talking to Billy. Oh, wait a second. We started off talking to Billy, and then we went to... What's that one town with the researcher stone things? That's where Billy was. Okay. I spent most of the session feral. trying to figure out. I spent most most of the session in Feral, trying to figure out. Oh, I found out someone broke into the Ministry of um, Research or the Undead. Uh, no. What is it called? Undead? No. Applied necromancy. necromancy. Applied necromancy. Applied necromancy. And found out that someone else was in charge, not the person I met last. And that's <laughs> very worrisome. Well, yes. Um, where are we now? Trolls? Yeah, we so we spoke to Data Leak. I don't, I don't remember. I think the only thing that we got from Data Leak was that that wizard escaped. Yes, I so. She also asked you guys to keep an eye out for some stuff in the Namish country. Oh yeah, there she was wants never us a to time to be writing things down. That would have been it. What? Writing things down. She wanted us to look down? for. Well, especially uh, the ability, uh, either bringing back a working copy or even better, blueprints for a gun. Um, and then anything a about gun. don't you mean a um a, a small mini cannon? cannon that can fit in the hands of the user? Boomstick. A boomstick. Tiny cat. Um. Pretty cannon. <laughs> a gun. Um. <laughs> so, plans for or uh, working model. I think both would be best. Um, of a boomstick. Uh. There was something we were supposed to look for in Cloud Forge as well that was just like military plans, I think, in general. Um, and then we hit the road again. We got our own wagon back and then headed off. Did we make camp and then subsequently find the troll? Yeah, we made camp and then we were like, hey. Is talking, so we went over and found some trolls. And now we're going to be rolling initiative. Uh, yeah, anyone else want to add anything? I think Chris does. He's so excited he's not even in frame anymore. Or in, in the same room anymore. Well, okay. You guys want to go ahead and roll in this? Oh, well, also, do you remember how you interact with the trolls? Snidely. Yeah, pretty much. Do we roll initiative, or are we still talking to the trolls? Um. Yeah, you guys interact with the trolls for a while, and then one of them went to attack Earth Mover. No, please don't fight. It'll end badly for all of us. They want to eat us.
Anyone have some food or gold to tempt them with? Oh, by the way, to clarify, you're not necessarily in that area yet. Your raven is, though. Question. Press the digitation does what again? Smells, but not any imagery? Yeah, it's, I mean, there's a lot you can do with it. I presume you saw my video of 30 uses for press the digitation. Link in the nope. description. Nope. Hashtag self promotion. This nope. video was brought to you by me. Uh, nope, I haven't seen that once. I haven't even seen a single se um, second. But it wasn't on this channel. Oh. Um, no, I haven't. But I'm allowed to do a small image of like gold or something that will tempt them. Question: What I know. Okay, I'll tell you what. I just dropped a battle map under oh, the, the map area of the Discord. I don't exactly want to play fight a trolls. I would like the more diplomatic route. Can we try reasoning with the trolls? You can certainly try once you get over there. But at the current cool. moment, they're trying to attack Earthmover, and I'm going to need everyone to roll initiative. No. Alrighty. An 11. Making initiative rules. Yep. Oh, and that twenty. Here we go. Starting off strong. It's a waste of a nat twenty. I know. I know how big of a waste that is. I still got one, nonetheless. Where's my? So that should be a twenty-four roll then. Good lord. Yeah, just about. Let's... No, no. Plus... Yeah, plus four. Hold on. Wait, are you proficient uh, in initiative rolls? You can be. Wait, really? Yeah. Is that a feat you, or something? Uh, I don't remember, but I know that you can. You can also... There's an item that lets you add your wisdom. There's class and subclass features that let you add strength and uh, charisma. I think there might be constitution. And, there's and I think there is intelligence. I think you can add literally everything and proficiency to to, uh, to initiative if you really try it. I could be wrong about con, though. I feel like there probably isn't for con. And I don't know what strength is, but I think it exists. Yeah, so 24. How about you, Andreas? I got a quarter of that. Nice. So guess who's going first? Troll. troll number one. Uh huh. Um, not quite. Stitch is gonna troll go number two. Uh. Troll number two. <laughs> yeah, who would have guessed me? There's 24 initiative gets to go first. Don't, don't tell me. It was my raven. <laughs> Just kidding. Alright. Um. Question. Would my character know what would scare trolls or entice trolls to trade or something? Oh, uh, if you want, you can make a nature check. Alright. Where is it? Proficiency. Also, are you looking at the battle map? Not quite. Give me a second. How's a 16? Um, yeah, most of the advice you've heard about trolls is just to avoid them because you know that they are very dangerous and you also do know that they have a healing factor. Okay. Do they see in the dark? Do I know that they see in the dark? Uh, you wouldn't know that. Team? Anyway, do you want to come through the clearing? Not quite yet. Um, 
I want to try press the digitation to how big is my thing again? Can I do with just press the digitation again? Uh, the, you want the range on press the digitation? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming each of these blocks are five feet. Uh, it's ten feet. So, Earth Mover's 30 feet away from me? Or 20? No. Earth Mover's currently 10 feet in front of you. Oh, okay. Wait, that doesn't stack up with a conventional battle map. What do you mean? Why am I 10 feet? Why am I controlling 10 feet of. No, no. Ditch is two squares behind you. Two okay. squares, five feet. Each How large. Okay. The Pentagons are the trolls. Chris, please decide on a course of action. Ten. I decide to put an image of fire around my raven. Okay. And it will fly around the he- their heads. High enough so that they can't, like, whack at it. Uh, okay. Does it get their attention? Yeah, seems to get one of their attention. How many? The one it flew over the head of. But... Yeah, so that illusion, I think, lasts for... Probably the sensory effect. Yeah, that illusion doesn't last for very long, though. How long? Pretty much just for the round, because it's an instantaneous effect. What? No imagery of fire around my bird? Nope. Making it look like a phoenix? Well, leave it on fire. Leave it on fire for now, because it's got to last the round, right? Well, I, I misspoke when I said round in that term. Anyway. Oh, the pitch is gone. Oof. Well, Troll 3 is going to go. And you want to guess who it's attacking? Earth Mover. Uh, let me guess. The only person that's on the stage? Yeah, exactly. Wow. That's amazing. Are those Dorito 3Ds? Yep. I figured it out. They're roasting Doritos over their campfire. Guess who they're attacking? That's not a surprise. Okay, um... Andreas, what's your... Your armor class is a 15. Let me check. That sounds right. Yeah. Wait, wrong character sheet. Yes. Well, um, it tried to bit, bite you, then it tried to claw you, then it's able to claw at you again with its other arm. It missed two of its attacks. Good. Ugh. Foolish giant man, be gone! He says as he scratches you for... Um, only 12 damage. Okay. Troll 2 is gonna go. 
Um, how high above the troll is the Raven flying? Out of melee range. I, I, I need an exact <laughs> foot number. I mean, I, I, this would have been a relative thing. I would have looked at their height and doubled it. <laughs> okay, um... Creatures are probably about... Eight, eight and a half feet. Yeah, they're about eight and a half feet tall. God damn. So you're putting it about the 17 foot range? Mm, make it 20. Okay, yeah, so uh, troll number two, he just wastes his turn trying to jump up at the raven. Okay. That's good. Earth mover. I whisper, but I'm pretty sure no one's gonna hear me. Earth mover, get out of there. Out of character. We don't need XP this badly. Yes, we do. Sorry, how much damage did you say I took again? You took uh, about 12. Cool. And troll one. I don't think he can reach you. It's good. Ha 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 Wait, so how big are the blocks in here? Uh, they're five by five. Okay. Um, he's gonna pick up a random piece of uh, burning wood and try to truck it at Earth Mover. What? Thirteen to miss. Yeah, he just tried to throw, like, random bits of rubble at Earthmover, but all three of his attacks miss. Yeah, how, how does Earthmover feel? He was just, had six attacks targeted at him, and five of them miss. It feels like trolls are idiots, but he already kind of knew that. <laughs> Aha, the gods of fate are on my side. Okay, now it's Gerald's turn. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Um, let's see how uh, far I can use Aldrich Blast. He's like, oh, if it's 120 feet, I can definitely use it. Uh, from the trees, Geralt is going to... Oh, is that where I am? Um, yeah, about there. Is that, is that fine, or do you want to be somewhere else? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because your camp is, um, it's sort of down in that direction that you guys are coming from, so you'd have to be somewhere along that tree line. Let's just call that portion of the map south to Turks and Felicity. Okay, um... Yeah, so for Simplicity, on, uh, Earth Mover is green, Gerald is blue, and Fitch is purple. Gerald is going to use Eldritch Blast on... Uh, goblin, not goblin. Troll number two. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want to aggro the one that's close enough to notice. Yes. Um, okay. So, roll for damage. Yeah, not roll for damage. Roll, roll for attack. Yeah, so that's what I meant. Uh, Sorry, I ask this every time, and every time I forget. Uh, so for the attack roll, it's uh, plus seven. Plus what? It's a d20 plus seven. Oh, okay. Well, um, then that's gonna be plus seven. Why plus seven? Plus four for the charisma, plus three for the proficiency. Okay, now this is gonna be twenty. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Should be a D10 for the damage. It is. Let me check. Is 
two d10. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I think you get two. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. Eldritch just one. Blast attacks, each one's a d10. No, yeah, it's just, it's just one, one D10. Okay. All right. It's gonna be a six. Okay. And, and do you want to push this guy around? Yes. Wait, I have, yeah, I have Grasp of Hadar. Okay, so uh, Gareth's also gonna use his ability of Grasp of Hadar to pull the uh, troll into the fire. Yeah, that is literally would be closer to you. <laughs> nice. So six damage from the uh, blast. Yes. Okay, so like from out from the tree line, just this um beautiful yet dark hand just Whoa. flies forward, grabs on the troll, grabbing into him and pulling him into the fire. <laughs> Darth Mover able to piece together what just happened. Earth Mover what? Earth Mover just saw a mysterious hand fly forward from the tree line and pull it full into the flames. I mean, Earth Mover's seen Best of Hadar happen before. Yeah. I kind of... Whose turn is it next? I kind of want to know. Uh, let's see. Should we Earth Mover? Oh, yeah. Because all, all, all the other trolls went already. <laughs> because right? I... I just re uh yeah all the trolls went already. You know what? I like and, that yeah, idea. When you pull him into the fire, you just hear him grasp or gasp in pain and Earth member hears him shout, It burns. <laughs> okay, Earth Mover's turn. Well on that note. I guess I'll go ahead and whack him. Oh, all right. Um, how's a twenty-three to hit? Yeah, that hits. First move we go yet? Getting there. Okay. Um. Oh, actually, it's a twenty-four to hit because it's a plus one item now, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh, you're whacking it with the uh, frying pan. No. Oh no! No wait! 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 No, you've got you've got the warhammer, right? Yes. Hence now. Yeah. So I'm gonna switch. Ugh. Oh, max damage. 13. 13 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> so yeah, these trolls are not having a good day. Earthmover walks into their camp. All their attacks are, or most of their attacks are missing. One guy gets pulled into the fire. Well, pretty sure I just gave number three a concussion. Yep. That's my whole turn, though. I don't get extra attack. And he says to you in giant, Are you a god? <laughs> no, the diviner. Just kind of uh, not my style. Michael, no, I see that look on your face. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I would have understood that. So. I know, but no, I don't like where this is going. You're not trading in the sharks for trolls. <laughs> anyway, it's his turn. Alright, so I wanted to contribute to this imagery. I decided to use, uh... Chill Touch. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm trying to go for the, go the image of two pans with the Earth Mover and the Raven. To exemplify. Yeah, so there's all these magic hands just flying out of the woods to attack the trolls. Yeah. 
So I use Chill Touch on the troll that's in the fire. Go ahead, make the attack roll. Ooh, natural 15. Let's go. Yeah, that, that hits roll damage. It's a what? What is this? A D8? 1D8? Should be 2. <sighs> okay. Yeah, 2D8. Ooh! 15 damage. 7 and an 8. And and this guy says in giant, oh, four spirits, they're attacking. Okay, um, you, that's all you can do. This are you, and do you step out into the clearing? Do you make your announce yourself like, hey guys, that was me. No, I'm very delicious. No. I stay in the forest. I, oh, by the way, I also have my raven uh, fly over to Earth Mover. Oh, okay. So you, you're trying to make this look like it's all Earth Movers doing, just to really terrify them, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, well, now Troll 3 is gonna go and he. He actually just uh, stops, just takes some steady breaths, and you actually notice that um, some of the wounds that you put in him start to uh, close over. Now he's going to try to attack you. Ooh. You know how last time uh, most of the attacks missed? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking that didn't oh. happen twice. Uh. I'm gonna need some d6s for this. Oh, oh boy. boy. Can you heal out of range, uh, Geralt? Hmm? Can you heal out of range? Yes. But, no, let me see. I wonder if this is how wizards feel when they cast fireball. I need more D6s! <laughs> Sounds to me like you need no, to I use more monsters with innate spell casting. I mean, no, don't. Okay. Oh, luckily, he's rolling low so far. Six, nine, 13. Seven. Yeah, um, this guy, he's just like clashing and biting into you, and you take a total of 20 damage. Okay. Do you want me Was to any of the and, um, stones endurance? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. i uh, tell you what, the bite was seven damage. Do you want to negate that? Mm. So 20 versus 13, no, 50, 42, 30, Sure. Awesome. I, I resisted all of nine of that. <laughs> or all seven of that attack, I rolled a nine. So I only take 13 damage. Nice. So yeah, this guy's like going into you, but you just like harden up just like your attacks so are meaningless to me. Okay. Now, uh, Troll 2, um, he doesn't like being in the fire. He's gonna try to rectify that situation. Why not? Yeah, he's running forward, and he's trying to do a shove attack to per push Earth Mover out of the way. Uh, uh, Earth Mover, what's your health at? 29 okay, out of 54. athletics or acrobatics check. 
Um, let me find. All right. Oh, that's a D12. Do I have proficiency in either of those? Surprisingly, yes. Uh, how's an 18? Yeah, you're able to you're able to hold your ground. He's gonna he's gonna try to shove you out of the way one more time though. Ooh, I think he succeeds. I got a six. Six total? Yeah. Yeah, with that, it pretty much takes his whole turn, but he is just able to shove you out of the way so he doesn't end it in the fire. Well, we have to rectify this situation. Yeah. It, it's it's a good thing Gerald can push as well as pull, right? Huh, huh. No, he cannot. Unfortunately. You can pull backwards, can't you? Or no? Yes, I can pull towards me. I can't push someone. Ah. Oh. He didn't go for that feat. I can only go for one. That's the one I chose. How far can I travel? (laughs) I'm wondering, checking to see what I can do here. So I can run... Control one's just gonna do the old run around. Forty feet, so I can go. Let's get run to the control. All right. Oh, this is gonna be funny. Wait, is it my turn? Sorry, I heard something. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. I never say anything. <laughs> I was very confused. Uh, okay. Uh, let's look at the map. Okay, so these are five foot. What? Oh, are they just that big that they take up um, ten foot radiuses? Yep. They're large creatures, you might say. Awesome. Okay, so how far can I move? Um, can Geralt move 15 feet? And yes, if you want, you can just uh, slip through the woods like that. So, where do you want to be in the trees still? Or no, Geralt is going to reveal himself on, but uh, yeah, right there. And then he's going to cast Arms of Hadar. Oh, you're going to hug him? Yes, in a way. With uh, with some giant tentacle arms. <laughs> so. Yeah, he like looks down at you when you step out and says something in a giant. I'm very... Ver- move around chance to be... I'm very what tempted to. Uh, what are you? I'm very tempted to cast Carbian languages, but I feel like that would take a turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, uh, I invoke the power of Hadar, the dark hun- the dark hunger. Tendrils. Oh, so is, is this is an attack, right? Or is it just in a... And then uh, how would this work? Radius. Yeah, from where you're standing, you'd be able to get one and three. Yeah, so it, it's not an attack rule, it's a... It's a saving throw. Yeah, okay. So, um, strength save. So, <laughs> yeah, just like stepping out from the darkness, you appear like shimmering a bit in the gold from their campfire, and you just extend out your arms, and just from them, this terrifying mass erupts.
Okay then. Uh, what's your spell save DC? Oh, uh, where's, where's my spell save DC? I don't. Eight know. plus your charisma modifier plus proficiency. So it should be. Uh, well, so, so fifteen. You said eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. So fifteen. Uh, okay. Well, um, number three succeed, but number one definitely fails. Okay, so it's gonna be two d six, and he did not use any reactions, and then it's half. Yeah. So go ahead and roll a two d six. It's gonna be eight damage. Okay, so and. So yeah, he takes, so then the other one takes three damage, but he still take reactions. So yeah, this guy, he's now like somewhat restrained by these mysterious tendrils that just appeared out of nowhere, and he has yeah, seems um, just a bit worried. Okay. Earth Mover's turn. Mm, I should have I used wild magic, but... <laughs> um... Let's see if I can't push him back. <clears throat> I'll try and push him into the fire. Mm-hmm. Number two or number three? Uh, number two. Okay. The one that's right next to the fire. Oh, right. Has an 18. Nice. So I just like to imagine that you guys, like, you're still kind of pushing on each other from last round. And mm-hmm. so you just take the moment to just boom, push him back again. Uh. And Finch does get a pretty cool view of this since the Raven is currently on um, Earthmover's shoulder. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. <gasps> I'd love to see that again. And let's get an instant replay. No, no, no! I got, I got you an instant replay. Who? Uh, I go right after Earth Mover, correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. I run up to number three, and I use one of my key to. Where is it? Oh, oh! I use a hope and hand technique to knock him prone, but kind of like. Like push him into the fire, like. Well, one of like, your things I think lets you push people back, right? And then there's yes. also the judo throw stuff. Oh yes, I'll use a judo throw. Yeah, that makes sense. The half length throwing the troll. <laughs> is that judo? <laughs> yeah. Judo is just using any leverage that you have, despite how small you are. So a. 12-year-old can actually take out a 25-year-old. Wait, Andres, the troll is two sizes larger than Fitch. Does that make a difference? Um, I let me look. <clears throat> this is basically a shove attack, so. Target must be no more than one size larger than you and be within your reach. Yeah. I'm going to say even with Judo, you can't really... Really? So I just have to push him? Yeah, you're, you're not going to be able to shove him. He's too big. No, that, yeah, that was for a shove. I can't just knock him down onto the floor then? Yeah, you can try knocking him prone. Yeah, that's one of your key techniques, right? Yeah. The stunning strike. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll lock him prone. So first so you get sad. an attack roll. So sad. How's a 13 plus... Plus 7 hits, yeah, roll damage. Yeah. It's... 
D6, 2D6. 1D6. 1D6. Plus 4. Yes. 8 damage. That's for the first one. And do you want to try knocking him prone? What are my options? I'm looking at my options again. Because I can make a DC strength 12 um, strength twelve to save or be pushed 15 feet. So I can make him roll a DC 12 strength. So yes. Actually, they're pretty strong. But it would push him as chance? higher. Um, if it's back 10 feet, then yeah, he would land in the fire. I do like that idea. If not, I can always try again with my second attack, right? Yeah, I take the chance. Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> hey, it worked! You got a 9 overall. Yeah! So I just, like, Into I the... imagine Pitch, he just very calmly steps out of the woods like, okay, I guess we're doing this now. One well-placed punch right in this I don't know, I guess it's Shin or whatever, but he just makes him start wobbling so So, much as the key just, um, it was just channeling through him. He stumbles backwards, catches himself, but his foot lands in the fire. I would imagine it like this. I wouldn't punch him. Actually, I can kick. Can I kick? Or I'm way of the open hand, so I guess I punch. So I punch his knee, the inside, right where it's weak on his standing leg. So it causes him to wobble so yeah he, he's not he's not liking that now it's trolls three troll three's turn no wait no wait you have all you have other attacks you have more things you yes, can I do yes i do he's in the fire correctly right yeah you want to run over and just keep wailing on him why yes i do that's well on him <laughs> He's big enough to cover the fire, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, like, you know, all these trolls coming in contact with the fire, it is, like, starting to, um, you know, cook their skin a little bit. And it's the weirdest thing, but, like, Thitch, in the back of your mind, it almost seems slightly appealing. Huh? Like, a, a suggestion starts appealing appealing in the back of your mind. Like, you know, him, him coming into contact with the fire gives you a weird idea of, like, cooking trolls. And the idea of eating them for whatever reason, just for a few moments, sounds really appealing to you. But not necessarily cooking them. Why would that feel so... Yeah, I... I don't know how I feel about that. All I wanted to do was an instant replay of what happened with the other troll. <laughs> You could just push troll number two further in. Yeah, but now they're on, like, one's knocked on top of the... Oh, no. Because no, the um the thing where he could push people at a 90-degree angle, that was part of the judo yeah, shove. Right, yeah. All right. Oh. Um, I start wailing on number three. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's how Natural funny. 20? Yeah, not 20. <laughs> Give me a 6 plus 4. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> 4 and a 5 plus 4. 8 plus 5 is 13. You sure that's correct? I may have misheard you, but... I rolled 2d6, I got a yeah. 4 and a 5, and that's a plus uh, Okay, five. yeah, yeah, that, that's the Okay, okay. Yeah, I you. I thought you were adding a plus also, 5 for your decks. That would not have been right. No. Do you want to use your bonus actions? Well, yes. I just want to keep wailing on this guy. <laughs> How's a uh, natural 12 plus, what, 4, 7? Uh-huh. 19 is that? Yeah, that, that hits. Okay. 6. D6. Here we go. Ooh, a 6. Here we go. And I got what? One more attack? For... Oh, no. Yes. 
does not know. No. Yes. No. Are you expect? Wait, do you have to expend key again to get the extra tax? Yes. Do you yes. want to? Is this troll looking dead? <laughs> Uh, looks like he, he's a lot closer to dead than he was a few minutes ago. He's, is he dead? Is he no, dead? No, no, he's still alive. <laughs> Alright, let's do another attack. I can regain the key later. Okay. A 14 natural. That hits. D6. Uh, oh, another 6. Here we go. Nice damage. <laughs> yeah, this guy, like, you're punching into him, like, he's actually, uh, some wounds are starting to open up, he's, so he's bleeding. He's For just a fire. fraction of a second, you think, hey, I should lick that up, then the thought passes. Lick the... Okay. Part of me is slightly disgusted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I just want to clarify, these are just fleeting, like, thoughts yeah, that I... pop into your head. I'm not trying to control your character's okay. active oh, okay. stream of consciousness. Okay, alright, alright. What you do with these thoughts, remember, it, it's it's not wrong to have the thoughts, but it's whether or not you focus on them. Well, now Troll 3's gotta try to kill Fetch. But he's prone. No, he, no, he isn't. I pushed him back onto the fire. My bad. And he shouts, Die, halfling. You will be my dinner. But you don't understand that. <laughs> He's partially singed and very damaged. <laughs> okay, do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, I think the bad news first. Okay, the bad news is, is that it's going to take a while to roll this again. Why is there a tree? Oh, <laughs> The good news oh, is like... that all three attacks hit. The what? The good news is, is that all three attacks hit. Wait, but that's supposed to be part of the bad news. Oh, whoops. Okay, you take... First he bites you for nine piercing damage. Okay. Wait, he beats my armor class? Yeah. Your armor class is a 15. Yes. Oh, dang. Okay. You got a 17, a 19, and a 23. Dear God. Okay, so, then okay. he splashes you for 12 flashing damage and one more time for another 12. So, so what was it? It was 9, 12, and 12? Yeah. What's 12 plus 12 is 24. 9 plus 24 is 33. Yeah. Oh, wow. That took a lot out of me. Yeah, and by the way, to, to demonstrate how dedicated this guy is to killing you, he, he hasn't moved yet. He still has a foot in the fire, but, you know, you have his full attention. Holy so cow. Some fire damage. Ouch, that hit me really hard. <laughs> okay. Um, now Troll 2 is... um. There's no burn damage? No, he, he took some. It seems like he's still taking active fire damage. Okay. Troll 2 wants to try to shove back Earth Mover. Earth Mover, please roll plus athletics or acrobatics. 21. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seeing that this isn't going to... Work. He's just going to try to um, scratch at you then. <clears throat> and both scratches miss. Good. These trolls are not rolling well tonight. So he also takes damage from a foot in the fire. Seven... Okay, now uh, Troll 1 is going to attack, well, uh, first, yeah, so those tendrils, they've fallen off, and um, he did have some, you know, cuts and scrapes from them, but those all clear over as he glares down at um, Gerald. 
and he's going to try to bite Gerald. Yeah. Uh, you take uh, nine piercing damage as he bites you. <laughs> Gerald is going to uh, react by casting Hellish Rebuke. Nice. And uh, <clears throat> it's going to be third level. Gerald's not playing around. <laughs> well, Gerald also... You know, you know, can we actually say that, like, maybe, like, as part of his military training, he was told that, like, trolls are very dangerous. Like, don't mess with them. Just, like, either avoid them or take care of them quickly. Also, Gerald recently learned that uh, his spell slots can be used to create... Uh... Oh, it's not spell slots. His, uh... What are they called? Sorcery points. Uh, yeah, sorcery points can be used to create any type of spell slot up to the level of five. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has a lot of spell So. Okay, I guess make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, I'm guessing that seven fails. <laughs> Yes, it does. So, at third level, it's going to be 4d10. Fire damage. Nice. And does this come out of your mouth, by the way? Since you're, since you're a gold dragonborn? Um... Is that how we want yes, to text it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we can say that's how it works. Yeah, because, you know, this guy had to bite you, so, you know, he got his face pretty close to yours, so you just respond by opening your mouth, like... But it's not the breath attack. It's like a... Yeah. I, want, I want to say it's like a purplish plant. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, roll damage. He made 28. <laughs> it's not even your turn. Yeah, he really, oh, yeah. Didn't, he really didn't like that, so he's just gonna... Just, like, still burning, he's just trying to scratch at you now. <coughs> okay, does a 15 beat your armor class? Yeah, um, yeah, okay, in that case, you take 7 slashing damage as you direct the claw at you through the flames. And then he hits you with his other claw for uh, nine flashing. Oh my! Please, Jesus! I was expecting that damage. And he either. shouts, "In giant, ah, face spirits brought flames." <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like I did a lot of damage to him, but he also did twenty-five damage to me. Yeah, it's almost like trolls are powerful monsters. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Earthwinder's turn. I think I'm gonna fight the monster myself. Wait, what? Wait, did you say Earthwinder's turn? Oh, no, wait, right, wait. It's Gerald's turn. It's your turn. Yeah. Your turn. Now, it's, <laughs> now it's your turn, Uncle. <laughs> I was about to say. Um. Geralt's going to cast a third level. Uh, uh, what's, that, what's that attack called? Um, oh, Inflict Wounds! Yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's go. Let's roll for the attack. Come on! <laughs> That's going to be a... Does a... I'm really bad at math. 19 beat his armor class? Yeah, yeah, that hits. Sure. All right, so with the third level inflict wounds, that's going to be 5d10s. Great. Yes, yes, 5d10. Are you kidding me? 
He did less damage than the other one. Uh, that's going to be 26 damage. I don't see why you're complaining. <laughs> so, yeah, you're just shooting out this purple fire. He's coming at you with his uh, claws, and you're just like, I don't think so. I, I, I like in my head, I'm, I'm thinking of like Geralt just open hand slaps him in the face. Yeah. And I just imagine, like, you know, your golden scales are just glowing, like, beautifully against the campfire, just like, I am your. Yeah, I'm the god you heard about. <laughs> okay, now that's going to bring us to Earth Mover's turn. Wrong tag. Okay. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to just try and shove him further into the fire. Hmm. Okay, you know what to do. Ooh, how's a 12? Yeah, no, he's... Um, I tell you, you're the math expert. Is 22 larger than 12? Oh, sorry, not. I don't do counting. Paul Steven, we need an accountant. <laughs> so, yeah, he's just like, no, I will not go into more flame. Unless Fitch has something to say oh, about that. So it's your turn, Fitch. What am I looking at again? Because I lost the map. Never mind, I found it. How are all the trolls looking? Mm -hmm. Or how is the troll in front of me looking? Uh, looks like he's, you know, badly bruised and burned and bleeding. And delicious. Oh, well, let's quickly finish. He's looking very again. scrumptious. <laughs> I wish to finish them all. Well, we're all to finish them off. <laughs> Got heads. Eight damage. And I assume you're pushing him back out of the fire? No. <laughs> no, I'm punching him into oblivion. Well, then keep punching. All right. Has a natural 13, so plus 720, is that? Yeah, that hits. Five plus four is nine. How much? Nine damage. Yeah, this guy, he's like hardly able to stand up straight at this point. Like, his lower section is just like full of. Uh, bruises and everything. You uh, you feel like you can actually feel his bones chipping away beneath his skin. Awesome. Time for one more attack. On his left knee, so he falls down sideways. Wait, so what you're telling me is that when Stitch attacks, he's only attacking people's legs? <laughs> <laughs> Well, these guys are really tall. With a normal person, you can probably still reach their head. Their hedge has to join. I, 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 I don't know. know. I, I've, I've seen like halflings in games before, and but they're not really the tallest. Uh, <laughs> they have, like, I guess the tallest of their arms are not really. I'm like reaching this guy's shins, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Like for a regular person, I think I think Fitz would be able to probably punch their shoulders. Look at Adam. Look at Adam. 
But with so, the so does Snitch like jump up and in punch, or is he just? <laughs> no. For anyway. context, he just did like some sort of air- fist pump in the air, just looking. To... Anyway, you're attacking him. Yeah. Well, that's very quite fitting for a last hit, a natural 19. Full damage. How's a six? Okay. Yeah. Um, this guy seems to be on his last legs, and he shouts in giant retreat as he takes the disengage. Age action runs for it. No. He's still burning, though. Did he take fire damage? Okay, now Troll 1. Now Troll 2 is also going to disengage, but he doesn't want to sh- run straight through the fire to get away. <laughs> Wait, how fast is, do these guys run? They have a standard movement speed. This guy's dead. This guy's gonna die. Nope. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, but don't worry. Troll one went to the Prometheus while running away from things. <laughs> oh, that's good, I guess. Okay, Gerald's turn. Uh, nobody runs away from girl. <laughs> Except one person. What? Okay, let's see what I can do. Yeah, yeah, you made it clear that if anyone leaves you during a fight, you track <laughs> them down to kill them. So, what do you want to do to kill them? Yes, um... Try it. I'm trying to figure out whether or not my attacks will be better against them, or if pulling pulling them. Um, yeah, Geralt's gonna uh, maneuver himself to. Uh, he's gonna maneuver himself behind. And to the right of Earth Mover, and then he's going to cast uh, Eldritch Blast to pull pull uh, Troll One back towards him. Okay. Uh, I guess Make it, the ooh, could, would that be into the fire? Or? Um, it would probably put him to towards the edge, but first we need to see if the attack. Well, if both Eldritch blasts hit, then you'll be able to drag him through the fire definitely. Yeah, so that's just gonna be uh nineteen. That hits. I've been rolling. I've been rolling a lot of twelves for some reason. And one d ten for the damage. Give me a nine. <gasps> so yeah, just another hideous arm just grabs in, into him, like in his chest, and is just dragging him forward. And you do get a second Eldritch Blast. So, oh no! What? Um. So is that another? Wait, why do I get a second one? Uh, with Eldritch Blast, starting at a uh, fifth character level, you get an extra attack with it. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Um, so, is it... A, a, so do I have to see if it hits? Yeah. Okay. 
So that's going to be a 9 plus 7, 16. That hits. That just hits. Roll damage. Nice. Alrighty. Um, six. So yeah, you drag this guy into the fire. He screeches out in a pain as he's burned by it. That's going to bring a star mover. Alright, so that'd be a one, two, three, four. I'm going to try and shove number one further into the fire. You can move on an angle like that. That was a 10. 10 total? Yeah. Well, um... It would have been an 18 if it weren't for the fact that I rolled and then realized I moved the wrong token and then re-rolled. Well, so. here's the thing. <laughs> he also did roll a 10. But I'm guessing but, that was his natural plus whatever, a 4 for a... Yeah, he's got a strength modifier. But you know what? He, he He's not proficient in athletics. So... Yeah, he just so has a uh, non-zero strength. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he's still in the fire. You, you, you've surrounded him effectively. He's not liking this. Good. Now it's Stitch's turn. You know, this guy can't run away from me. How dare he? He is number one in the way for me to do and before. I can't use uh, chill touch on him because someone's in the way, right? Uh, you could chill touch the other guy. Number two? Mm-hmm. Or who is this? Who is this guy? Well, number two went to your right. Number three. I'm looking at number three. Yeah, you could also just chill touch him. As long as that's... Yeah, that's definitely within range. Can I run after him as well as tilt, tilt, chill, touch him? I mean, you would have to be Jack be nimble and risk the opportunity attack from Troll 1. Or go a long way around and use key. I mean, chill, touch is a ranged spell. Or I could just go to him and beat him to death. He didn't look to be in great shape if you just want to try to spell snipe him. When I was busting his shins, how badly did he look? Really bad. All right, let's use the chill touch. I can use that twice, right? No, that's one attack where you get 2d8 damage from it. All right. All right, sure. Chill touch, let's go. So close to a nat 20, come on. 18. What? Natural 18. Ah, okay. Come uh, on. Yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 2d8. You know, to point out that on the die, rolling a 2 is also close to the 20. How's a 13? Yeah, with a 13, as this guy's running and he just makes it to the woods, we'll just say that, you know, your shell touch grabs him around the ankle and he just falls to the ground. You hear him crashing through some uh, tree branches and he just gives one final scream of pain and then speaks no more. Nice. Well, Uh, it's definitely not Troll 3's turn. Now, Troll 2 is going to sneak up behind Gerald. Really? The person who's almost killed? Yeah, sneak. Yeah, you know, the giant troll. It, it's definitely very sneaky, right? What Gerald does totally doesn't notice this thing c- creeping up behind him. Uh, can this thing have to roll for uh, sneakiness? Because it's. With no, that, that was a joke. He's not actually making a stealth check. It's very oh, obvious yeah. that he's right behind you. 
<laughs> it's about to become more, even more obvious. <laughs> hey, does a 25 beat your armor class? Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, he, um, he's just gonna chomp down on you and try to bite you for, um, seven piercing damage. Oh dang! Oh dang! Okay, now he's gonna try to scratch you. Luckily, he misses the first scratch. Wait, what's your armor class? It's, uh... It's a 12? Ooh, yeah, then that does hit. For 13 damage, he just scratches oh, you in your back. 13? Yeah, and he still has one more attack. Well, oh my god. I hate these things. Yeah, that's 21, that hits. So you take another 13 slashing damage. Wow, it's almost like uh, I didn't survive that. And Geralt's now on the ground. Okay. Yeah, so he drops you and he's just gonna pick up your body. What? You're unconscious, you don't know this happening. Yes, okay. Troll one's very not happy right now. Gonna, he's gonna try to uh, move or maneuver around Earth Mover. Oh, Andres, do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, let's take let's take the bad news first. I would like to got a natural of... twenty. That's the bad news. Okay. The good news is he was using his bite attack, not his scratch. Good. So, yeah, um, from that you take 11 piercing damage. Sorry, what I do? what I take? No, Earth Mover took 11 piercing damage. Oh, dear God. Whose turn is it? it it's right now Troll 1's turn. Okay. He's now he's going to try to scratch Earth Mover. Yikes on trikes. Yikes on trikes? Yeah, you know, tricycles. Oh. He slashes into you now for 15 damage. I'm downed. Okay. <laughs> and now, um, last attack, he's aiming for that pesky raven. No! Raven, please, no! Wait, how is it pesky when it didn't do anything to him? It was the number it's two. just looking at him. <laughs> Menacingly. Oh, dear God. He better not. <laughs> if, it's, if, you know, if it knows what's good of for him. If he does, if he does, he's dead. He's so dead. It would have been hilarious if he missed, but nope. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. And, yeah, he's also going to pick up Earth Mover's body. He picks it up? Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Whose turn is it? Who's I'm pretty sure Geralt weighed more than Earth Mover. Wait. So, yeah, maybe picked up is a bit of an exaggeration. Like he, like he, they seem to be dragging him at least. Yeah, Geralt is uh two hundred and seventy pounds. Of Wait, pure are you guys both down? Muscle. Yeah, it's Geralt's yeah. turn. You're, so, uh, direct message me a death saving throw. Oh my god. Okay. I'm not letting this happen. Oh dear god. <clears throat> Also, oh, actually, no, I'll wait till my turn. So he's dead. These two are almost dead. I hope. Okay. It's his turn. 
I look at eat both of the trolls. Who looks more damaged? Uh, let's see now. Troll one is definitely more damaged. Troll one. Okay, so I run over to Troll 1 and attack him. Okay. 16, natural. That hits, roll damage. Eight damage. Yeah, with that, you just punch this guy and just crumples to the ground, but he does not land on Earth Mover. Awesome. Now, I, can I run over to number two? My face like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, oh, you can throw a knife at him. How dead? How is he almost dead? No, he seems to be pretty healthy. I've used key, three key points already. I think so. Let's use another for to get him because I want to do something special. Well, remember, if you throw the knife, that still counts as a monk weapon, so you get all your normal bonuses. It's not what I want. What do you want to do? I want to drain touch. That's casting a spell. You'll have to wait till the next round. Oh, yeah, okay, fine. Um,. Fine monk weapon. Wait, so you are, you are going to throw the knife? I mean, can I do... I can't do flurry of blows after that, right? No, because you're not close enough. All right, so then I might as well use the key point to get close enough and then use flurry of blows. <sighs> to do my... Se I need to do my second attack and then I need to do flurry of blows. Okay, yeah, so, so this guy needs to die this round. Yes. I'm not risking anything else. <laughs> okay, you know what to do. All right. What do I do? <laughs> Natural 14. That hits. How is... 3 plus 7 damage? I mean, he certainly didn't appreciate that. It was kind of mean of you. All right. Now one more attack. Flurry of blow. No, to get two more attacks for key. So two uh, flurry of blows. Let's go. 18. Here we go. That hits. Five damage. Seven plus six. No, seven plus six. Seven, Did you roll uh, six? Yeah. Yeah, then that, that's going to be a 13 total. That misses. No. <laughs> wow, Sitch missed an attack. That doesn't happen often. Yeah, well, um, Troll 2 is going to go. He just, uh, you know, he drops Gerald's body for a moment, and uh, he's going to bite you. Yeah, that definitely hits. Are you sure about that? Yeah, you take nine piercing damage. Oh, you cannot man. deflect missile this. He's I not can't? shooting his teeth at you. <laughs> <laughs> Although that would make a really interesting monster. All right, cool. Yeah, that's nine, and now he's going to try to scratch you. Okay, that misses. Okay. And that comically misses. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you got a one. Hey, guess what? What? I'm at one health. Well, now Gerald and Earthmover need to make their death saves. <sighs> oh, and by the way, as yeah. this guy was scratching you, like you actually saw some of his wounds close over. What? No. No, 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 no. No, Drew. No. 
Not allowed. He's not allowed to have a healing factor? No. <laughs> okay. Earthmover's death. Save. Death save. Man, wouldn't that be ironic? Like, you guys have had all these quests. You just cleared the water temple, and the thing that finally kills you was choosing to attack the trolls in the woods. To be fair, they attacked us first. Andreas. What, sorry? Death save. It's just turn. If I use Drain Touch, am I only allowed to do that? Yeah, that would be casting a spell, but it would heal you. He needs to die today, right now. That's the only way this is gonna happen. Or you could retreat, surrender Gerald's body, hope he wakes how, up. How how damaged does he look? He looks like he's um you know really caught his second win and he seems to be doing pretty well. Oh dear God. <laughs> So, just gonna tell you, that is an option. You just retreat, maybe um, use your magic to uh, solidify Earth Mover. Stabilize, stabilize, not solidify. Question, I should remember how many punches it took for me to take down control number three, right? Um, it definitely seemed like the campfire was helping you there. So you don't know if that would be the best estimate to compare against. So I seem to pissed off number two. I'm going to run over to Earth Mover. <laughs> do you do anything before you run away? There's a special action we do. Yes. Or do you just want to take the risk of getting hit to ensure that you'll be able to stabilize no, I'm, us I'm using my Expedious Retreat. What is it called? I think that's what it's called. Nice. Is that the last of it? What? The last of your key? No, I got one more key after that. I got okay. six points total. So, yeah, we're just going to say move so fast you leave a dust cloud of a fitch behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, I stabilize Earth Mover. Yeah, so Wait, what do I do? The, what do um, the, the Therantos gem to um, spare the dying? Yeah. Okay. Thank goodness. Andreas, you're not going to die yet. Not while I'm here. Okay. Well, um... Troll two is just gonna just gonna walk off with um Gerald's body. No, not not like that's gonna happen. There's gonna be an extended scene. I'm chasing after him after this after I stabilize Earth Mover. Just um off into the woods. How far into the woods now? We're gonna keep track of this, Drew. I'm running after this guy. You know. Seems to just disappears into the into the into the trees. Nope, I'm running into the direction. Oh, gosh. Not, no, not your not turn. Need a death save from Gerald. Dang it. Your turn. My Help turn? Me. It's just turn. All right. Have Is Earth Mover stabilized? Yeah. You hear Clyde's voice say, hmm, seems like you're in a bit of a, a bind here. What do you want? Oh, just simply want to make an offer that, um, if you were to accept my blessing of vampirism, I could, um, I could save your friend Gerald. Or at least give you the power to save him. Oh, dear God. <sighs>
as much as I want him dead, I need him alive. Not after I, not after I did that thing. The troll what has a bit of a bit of a weak mind. I can, I can, oh, suggest that he leave the fresh meat where it is and then come back to uh, finish off the halfling and give you the strength you might need to kill him. Don't worry, you wouldn't turn into a vampire immediately. We're just helping you along the path. I don't like this. No sign for no sign of the Raven Queen. Nope, and the troll and the Raven already blipped out. So, frick. And remember, <laughs> you, you six second rounds. You need to make a quick decision here. All right. Ah, sure. Let's go. Done. <laughs> and you you're bounding out from the forest just a yell of something in giant as this troll just uh, charges back out <sighs> what are the consequences oh dear god what have I done <laughs> he just dashes full force and just stares down at you as you, but, and he seems to be in much better health than he was a moment ago. But you suddenly feel a lot more powerful as well. All right, now Fitch, this is the important part. Do you see the dread troll right behind you? Yes. Well, it's not completely dead yet. It's hanging on by a thread, and I'm going to need you to drink its blood. <sighs> That's so disgusting. Do you trust me or not? Because that <sighs> live troll is um, it's looking at you. In a fit of rage, I go over to the troll and drink its blood. <laughs> so, yeah, you just turn around, chomp down on this thing, and for, like... <laughs> Probably didn't didn't realize how easily this would be. You didn't think your teeth were that sharp, but shh. and just as the blood begins to fill into your mouth, um, go ahead and roll me two d ten. Nine. You heal back nine damage or nine health. Okay, cool. And that was not your action. That was a passive effect. For at least the rest of this encounter, you now have the troll's healing factor. Oh dear god. For that, for this round, we were just having you do the 2d10 because it was the initial hit, but it's going to be a total of 10 healing at the start of each turn. Just solid. This is how the first vampires in antiquity, long before Strahd, obtained their abilities. It would absorb the blood, which is the living life essence of a creature. Okay. And by the way, that, 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 the thing with the troll running out, that was basically its whole turn. So now it is the beginning of your next turn. All right. I go. I, I don't even know. I want to wham. I just start wailing on this guy. Nice. Starting with a nat 20. Okay. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, 2d6 plus 4. How is 9 plus 4? Nice. Keep going. 15 natural. That hits? 10 damage. 
I got one more key. Let's keep yeah. going. By the way, it occurs yeah. to me that we've been doing something very wrong for pretty much the entire campaign. What? Because I've been telling you not to add your decks to the bonus action attacks. That was actually just a misunderstanding of my part about uh, two weapon fighting. This this isn't two weapon fighting. This this is something else. You should have been adding your decks modifier this entire time. To what? To the to um your bonus action attacks. So seven to my. I, I know plus plus four. I, I've been uh, in the past. I told you not to add the okay. uh, dex mod to your bonus action attacks, but you should have been. Oh, okay. All right. So how is a twelve plus seven? Yeah, I, I mean, the, the, no, you you were rolling the attack the attack rolls themselves just fine. It was the damage that we were under calculating. Oh, okay. So yeah, that hits one d six plus four. So another ten damage, max damage. Okay, Let's keep well. Okay, another. This is that was my second or third attack. Yeah, you got one more. Okay. Okay, uh, Drew, are you are you sure Vamp Prism doesn't buff my dice either? Did you get another nat 20? Yeah, I got another nat 20. 2d6 plus 4, let's hear it. I don't like... Is this... Is my, are my dice telling me to go the vampire route? <laughs> How is 10 plus 4? Yeah, you did 34 damage in one round. I don't like this. I think my dice are telling me to go the vampire route. I don't know why. Um, yeah, now, now this guy wants to try to kill you. Okay. Understandable. Okay. Yeah, he bites into you for 8 piercing damage. Okay. Then scratches into you for 11. Okay. Does that... Does that drop you? Yeah. Okay. So you're down. This guy, he's just like... He, he definitely seemed concerned, but now he's just gonna... Just gonna saunter off a bit. Hang out by the fire. He... he he just needs a moment to regroup after his kill. What is, what is the vampire bite for? But, it's your turn again. Actually, um, gonna need death saves again from Earth, Earth Burn, Ger from Gerald. I think we missed a round of those. I stabilize Earth Mover. Yeah. Anyway, while uh, Michael makes that death save, um, it's it's your turn again, Pitch, and um, yeah, you you still have the troll blood effect, so you heal back by ten. Okay. And you're back up. Oh goodness. Question: What do I do if I bite into the neck of the second troll? Do Do you want to try to eat him? I guess. If okay, so with... you, do you want to run back over to Troll 2? I mean, I can sneakily do it behind him, go up behind him and... Um, yeah, make a stealth check. That's a 1. Lucky. Natural 12. So... Yeah. Do I go off what? Do I have advantage in that? Uh, no, but now that you're in position, you will have advantage on your next attack roll. Okay. So we're going to say that that was basically your bonus action to sneak over like that. Okay. 
Advantage gives me a natural 17. I rolled a 4 and a 17. Wait, wait, so you rolled a 4 and a 17 for the attacks? For the advantage. Okay, so yeah, that hits for all damage. What does biting do? I mean, it's still technically an unarmored strike, so it would be the same amount of damage. Okay. How is 3 plus 4, 7 damage? Yeah, you just jump into this guy, and he, he he's not liking that. But, yeah, more blood. All right, and then I have one more attack, or no? Yep. Twelve plus seven? That hits. Roll damage. Six plus four. Ten. Okay. Yep. So this guy stands up, looks down at you, and he says something in giant that you do not understand. And Earthmover is not awake enough to translate. But Earthmover, in just like in, in in the suggestion of your sleep, you think you hear someone says say, "I thought I killed you, runt." Which is probably something Earthmover has heard before. Okay, next what? Okay, he bites into you for another eight damage. Okay. You're back down from that scratch. All right. But you're immediately going to pop back up. First, though, I need a death save from Gerald. (laughs) What is this tank? Holy cow. Oh, by the way, this is going to be his fifth death save, so... Oh, goodness me. The last and final one. Question. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. Nah, 20. Drew, if I fail this... What like what are the chances of me helping him out this turn? It's been, it's been fun. M- Michael, we wouldn't kick you out oh, of the D yeah. group. You could roll a new character. <laughs> no, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got I got 19. <laughs> Stable. <laughs> but Fitch doesn't know that. He just okay. knows that he wakes uh, up a few seconds later, having been healed another 10 health. Oh, goodness me. Alright. Now what? So does Gero have again. one... And does Gero have one health now? Nope. Or he's stable at he zero. Stable at zero. Okay. okay, now what? And the, you're out of key, right? Yeah. No. Nope. Um... Yes. So, yeah, you yes. couldn't necessarily push him into fire unless... Judo throw? No, because he's too big. All right. Um... So, tell you what, if you want, you can basically um spend your action to convert charges of the Thanatos gem into key at a 2 to 1 ratio. So if you completely drain the gem, you get an extra 3 key. Sure. Or you could take that stamina potion. You're right, I do have that. Mm -hmm. Stamina potion. Nah, no. I can recharge the Thanatos gem, so... Thanatos gem. Yeah, but this seems to be a pretty desperate situation. Actually, a moment ago, you good. were burning through all your key just to end it as soon as possible. Yeah, and I was also die. I already died three times. <laughs> yeah, so so um, <laughs> so I think that's very necessary. Yeah, <laughs> stamina. Just like, stamina. wait a second. I need my electrolytes. Let me have a Gatorade. 
Okay, you re you recover two key points. Awesome. Let's push him into the fire. <laughs> Go for it. Well, first you need to make the attack roll hit. Yes, that is true. I think that worked because of the natural 15. Okay. Well, first roll damage. It's seven damage. Okay. Well, it's... He needs... Okay, so he needs to make a dexterity saving throw to hold on? Yes. Hold on. Yeah, let me double um, check that. Let me double check that. Well, you got a 16 overall. It's fine. I'm going to be doing it again anyways. Yeah, double down. How does a 17 treat him? Okay, roll damage. With a 9 for total damage. Okay, and he needs to make another dexterity saving throw? Yeah. Ah! Sorry, he, he, he rolled two 15s. Alright. But don't worry, this guy seems really close to being dead, and you still have your bonus action attack. Yes, I do. How I have two key or three key from that stamina potion. Um, it, it gave you two back. Okay, fine. I'll punch him then. <laughs> I see that expression. Did you? That's funny. Two d six plus four. <laughs> oh my god. Eleven also, are plus you four. Him? Huh? Are you biting him? I'm gonna need a screenshot yeah. of that. I'm oh, screenshotting it. Oh, I'm... Screenshotting the... And what rolled the damage 11. first? Yeah, I rolled the damage already. You got and I'm screenshotting the damage, so... Where is it? 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 Ping me, please. <laughs> Wait, did you say you got 11 damage? Wait. 11, uh, 11 uh, plus 4. So, yeah, I'm just going to say this guy, he's facing down at you. So you just um, just jump on him, climb up his body for a moment, just bring your teeth against his jugular, just, I guess, biting straight through him. He's just gashing out blood everywhere as he collapses to the ground with you on top of him. He looks like a ferocious animal. Probably a good thing that no one's alive enough to see you. Yeah. At this point, <laughs> Billy Queen pokes his head uh, through. So what's what's going on over here? Oh. Oh, was there a paddle? Well, yeah. Uh, I don't look at him. I keep my face looking forward. Um. Okay, then. Uh, wh wh where's Gerald? Is he invisible? I point to my right. He's over there on the floor somewhere. I don't so, know. I think yeah, he's Gerald, there. sometime later, you don't know when, you suddenly are awoken to the beautiful music playing from a lute. And you hear the amazing voice of Billy Queen. And he seems to be singing about the mighty and powerful Fitch, the sinker of ships and the slayer of storms. Oh, where am I? And you heal back for... Am I at full health? I mean, yeah, if you just sit around there long enough, because the, 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 the recharge... That, that recharge effect is not permanent, I want to tell you. Yeah, I know. But I go back to the fire, clean myself up with water, and just... Now I'm just blank frozen at the fire. I'm staring right at the yeah, fire Joe, You can heal for uh, six health. <laughs> okay. And, um, yeah, and then sometime later he also goes over to Earth Mover and just starts flying. By the mighty fitch The sinker of ships The slayer of storms the defender of 
No way. I almost said Nords. No, that's Skyrim. <laughs> Who killed bushes in many forms? The fist of the raven. A hand of might. A well, fierce warrior of day and night. While uh, he's doing that, uh, Geralt's going to cast. Uh, okay, um, Earth Mover gets healed back for eight health. So yeah, you guys are all awake. Girl's gonna cast a uh, second level of Cure Wounds on so Nice. Oh, by the way, Andreas. Andreas. Hmm. Okay, so Billy Queen roused you from your sleep and healed you for eight. Seems all the trolls are dead. And I'm actually curious. Uh, so, Earthmover, you do know that they um, apparently killed some halfling, a halfling, and some dwarves earlier, and mentioned gold. Are you gonna look for it? Yeah. You you, you want to tell the others about it? They gestured to where it was, didn't they? Um, go. Tell you what, go ahead and make a uh, perception check. Okay. Uh, garbage. How's 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 some some uh, some garbage? That's my perception. A plus two. How's a nine? Um, with a nine, you're, you're looking around, and um, you actually do notice near the fire there do seem to be some remains of bones and body. But that's about it. Yeah, you I'll, I'll the, mention the it. What you're looking for? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else want to look for um, dwarven treasure? Yes. Also, girl healed 18 hit points. Yeah, nice. Good for him. Uh, yes, girl will also dwarven treasure. But he's not gonna find any because he got four. Yeah, you're not. Yeah, um, not able to find any bodies either. Um, are you guys just gonna make camp here at the troll site? Unse- can I cast unseen servant to look for gold? Or to- uh, yeah, you just want to send an unseen servant around. Yeah. While I stare, bl- I ca- I can't get over what what just what happened. But I'll cast unseen servant. To bring me gold. Um, or... Yeah, after a while, um, the unseen servant it appears to like pick up a stick or whatever and is waving it since it can't drag a body. I look over. Actually, I re- I go over. Okay. Do it. Does my raven come back or no? Um, if you spend long enough there, but first I'm gonna need you to roll me a d100. Seventy-three. Okay, with a seventy-three. Uh, now I'm gonna need you to roll me two d four. A three and a four. So a seven total. Yes. Okay. So you are actually um able to look around for a while, and you begin to um you you actually see that you know it was pointing at a um the remains of a main body. But then it begins to uh, point over or guide you a little bit over just into the clearing where it seems that they were hiding some of their treasure. Oh, 
around the side of the clearing. And so you find a gold ring with some bloodstones, a carved ivory statuette. Hold on. Uh, two, how many rings of bloodstone? One gold ring. A carved ivory statuette. And, uh, no, that wouldn't make sense. And a silk robe. As well as a bag with gold pieces. And a rolled up piece of paper. Okay, I look at the piece of paper. Okay. It's written in Dwarven, which you now understand, and yeah. it appears to be schematics for something. A, um, a magical box about three feet wide and three feet long. And it's labeled with different stuff saying, Magic Box with a Pocket Dimension, or a Box of Holding. We've taken to calling it the Portable Basement. This seems to be plans for a magic item. I like this item already. I hold my bag of holding. <laughs> I put everything inside there. And yeah, there's other stuff written on there about like um, the materials that would need to be made out of. Um... I take a mental note of those items. Yeah, so it's written on there that um, needs a powerful source of magic to contain the demi plane. And that he's looking into um, various abjuration sources of magic. Okay. Um, as well, uh, he notes that lead works well with abjuration, but it's a bad conduit for planar magic. So he was considering a lead silver alloy. Okay. And he estimates that if he did, did this properly, the inner room would be a square about 30 feet on a side. All right. So there you guys go. You now have the plans to build a um, just a, a portable basement, a magic room that you could store stuff in or hide in or whatever you want. But you're going to need to find the ingredients for it. Maybe we can get started on that next time. Until then, I've been your host and Dungeon Master, Drew, being joined by... First Mover. And... Gerald. Bye. <laughs>